I, how, um, how long have you seen it flow for and how deep is it and how, you know, is it kind of moving, you know, as fast as you would walk or? Uh, I would say at peak melt, if we had good rain, then yeah, there's, there's some movement to it for sure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's a considerable amount of like, so if you look at, um, like a six inch culvert running full bore is 33,000 gallons an hour. Oh, wow. It's not, it's not like, or like a, a 16 inch culvert is 250,000 gallons an hour. Hmm. And so it doesn't take a lot of water for, um, you know, before it makes sense to start trying to harvest this stuff. And, you know, particularly because you're so, I mean, it sounds like you're already having water problems like some years anyways, like where water is getting into areas where you don't want it. And so, um, it, you know, it, it's, it's probably going to be worth it for you guys, given the amount of development you're talking about doing here to, uh, to get some kind of a topographical data. Okay. And hopefully this guy can. Yeah, we're definitely willing to put some uh, some resources and a little more planning forward just so that we're not making mistakes, right? Like yeah, if we decide later, oh, we want to add some contour here and move this water. Yeah. Uh, we could be doing more damage than, than good if we've already, you know, put some paths or barbecue patio. Exactly. Yeah. Cause like, again, like in terms of that design operations, it's, it's, you know, water access structures. And w once we figure out where the water flows are going to go and where you're going to manage it, then your access shifts all around that in terms of, you know, where are you going to put roads, where are you going to put uh, culverts, what you can, you know, get equipment on and then all your trees and everything, they're all going to follow those roads and your fence lines are going to follow that stuff. So like if, if you didn't have, water flowing through your property like that, I would say, don't worry about it. And you can just put stuff wherever you want and just, you know, do it on straight, straight lines. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you're talking about kind of making it in that kind of, you know, curved, uh, curvilinear pattern, the, that's what you'll end up with, with some kind of a, whether it's a, a key line swale. system with, with subsoiling yeah. or, or a swale or something, but you will end up with, uh, um, some of that curvy pattern and it, it, it looks, uh, you know, we have people come on our farm to, uh, to look at some of this stuff. And one of the most common things people say is like, this just feels right. Like when you're out there walking, like it just, it's, it's curvy and, um, but it's, it's functional. It's not just like a pattern for pattern's sake. It actually yeah. is doing something and, and people recognize that even if they don't know what it, it is doing. So I would say the the low spot where the blue line is, out into the middle of that field 